Hi everyone, so for this first workshop I'm going to talk all about line. Lines are like the handwriting or grammar of drawing, and they can be used to invoke a wide variety of visual information like weight, direction, tone, and emotion, and so many other things. And understanding how to use line in all of its varieties is an essential building block in knowing how to draw. For this first assignment, you're going to need one fresh sheet of newsprint from your newsprint pad. And you're going to take a stick of compressed charcoal. And when you're ready, I want you to take your hand with the charcoal and I want you to draw a line imagining as if your hand was stuck in concrete. So if you were moving your hand through concrete right now, how would your hand feel? Would it be tense? Would it be soft? Would it be barely moving? And what would that line look like if you, if you didn't have paper and instead your surface were concrete? And for the next experiment, I want you to imagine that your hand is moving through thick mud. So really imagine that your hand is pushing through wet soil. And move your hand back and forth across the paper. Next, I want you to imagine that your hand is moving through water. And maybe your hand is in the ocean, maybe it's by the pool. Once again, this is my interpretation, and I want you to think about how your hand would feel. And if you could draw a line through water, what would it look like? And how is that mark going to look? So now that we've done three of these, you can start to notice how different the lines look just based on the different pressure you apply and the way your wrist and your arm is moving and the way you're envisioning these different scenarios. And now I want you to imagine that your hand is a feather blowing in the wind. The wind that I'm imagining is really intense. Maybe it's by the shore or by a pier where um, the wind blowing feels really aggressive. So my feather is totally out of control. The wind is not letting the feather touch the ground at all. Maybe you want your wind to be a little more gentle. Moving on, I want you now to imagine that your hand is moving through gravel. Gravel has a lot of different textures depending on the type of rock or sediment. So once again, it's up to you to think about are the rocks heavier? Are they really tiny? Does it feel like sand? How, does that, how would gravel feel through your hand? And how do you represent that through line? So now at home, I want you to try these five different scenarios. And maybe you can come up with other different um, sensory experiences that you would want to translate through line. And this could hopefully help you figure out different ways to create different varieties in line and mark making textures. And another thing you can do is you can start off with one type. Like over here, I am pushing through mud right now. And now I'm switching to the feather. And then back to mud. And then back to the feather. Also, always keep in mind that when you're drawing on large surfaces, you don't just draw with your wrist. You are drawing with your entire arm. So now that I've shown you all these different experiments, I want you to try these out at home. And I want you to have fun with these and not think about what the right answer is. And I think as long as you're really thinking about what these sensations feel like to you personally, then you're going to get a wide variety of really unique and interesting lines.